Hello guys, this is Karthik from XVRAutomation.com and welcome to part 1 of Understanding Mock video series. And in this part, we're going to talk about introduction to Mock. So, Mock is one of the most popular mocking framework for .NET. And Mock takes full advantage of .NET link expression tree and Lambda expressions, which makes it most corrective, type safe and refactoring friendly mocking library available. Mock is one of the open source and free library which can be downloaded from GitHub or added to the project via NuGet package reference. So who is the intended audience for Mock? Well, Mock is developed for developers, which is of no doubt, but it can also be used by testers. So what is Mock and for developers? Well, developers can use mock for unit testing their methods or classes functionalities without disturbing the systems, meaning mock can also isolate the actual system and test the abstract methods of application rather the real implementation itself. This way, mock removes the real dependency with fake dependencies and tests if the real dependency works as expected, otherwise called as isolation. This fake dependencies are achieved by mock using Castle Dynamic Proxy .NET library, which you can find it from here. So this is the power of mock, where it removes the real dependencies with the fake dependencies. And using that, you can test any application you want to. So what is mock for testers? Does really testers require mock in first place seriously? Well, the answer is yes or no. It depends on the kind of tester you are. As the growing complexity of programming and application development model in agile world, testers are no different from a developer. We testers write more code than testers in terms of many number of test cases because developers are very focused on a particular functionality of an application. Whereas testers are responsible for testing multiple applications by writing multiple test cases by doing multiple different kinds of testing functionalities to be achieved. I seriously consider mock is not an alien for tester. It's yet another tool for testers as well. So mock is prudently used during integration testing by testers in many companies. Let's see a small testers coding graph. Let's consider the way testers were and testers are with a quick graph based on their coding skills and or requirements in the current trend. Well, the graph looks something like this. Before automation was, there were only manual test engineers and they have very little programming skill. And it comes under this, the before automation, where the programming skill required is just 0.1%, not more than that. But while the QTP era started, while record and playback coding descriptive programmings were started, then testers were about to write some scripting programming languages, something like VBScript or JavaScript. Well, they don't do much programming, but still they were writing some kind of descriptive programmings to do things and achieve the functionality. Well, VBScript is still a powerful programming language, while Selenium is started with Java and due to its language bindings in WebDriver, Lot of other programmers started to create their own libraries for Selenium and now testers were asked to do testing on any different kinds of programming languages whichever the company is currently developing or the application is being built. Again, this is yet another challenge for a tester or a QA where he or she may be familiar with Java in their previous company but suddenly in a new company, they will be using ASP.NET as their application development platform. So they were forced to do C-sharp programming. If some companies is using PHP or some kind of open source language for developing their application, then they were forced to use Ruby or Python for testing or developing their code. So this is again yet another challenge for testers. So that's why I'm saying testers are no different from developers. So again, in the Selenium era, the programming is still improved. The scale is just 5, but I'm saying the Selenium era, the programming skill for tester is 2.5. And in the current trend, 
it is pretty much close to a developer 5 of 5 tester has to write a lot of course lot of course compared to any number of errors so far happened and they have to not only just write code for the ui of the application but they also have to write some of the testing code for integration of the application so now testers are pretty close to a developer and i strongly believe that qa people has to focus more on coding than compared to just the ui part of application testing using simple coding so they have to deep dive into the coding right now so i always re-insist people to start looking at the coding so testers is very equal to developers so ready to learn hope testers will also make use of mock while they really find the use of it thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day